Hey, 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 what's up, Success Nation? It's your boy, Matt Rabbit here, back with you again for another marvelous video. And in today's episode, I'm gonna be discussing everybody's favorite topic, which is e-commerce and e-commerce marketing, as I wanna provide you guys with five amazing tips that you can implement in your business and your website right now to generate more sales and more revenue. But before we get started, if this is your first time to the channel, welcome, of course. Make sure to go down and hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell beside that as I'm dropping pure value content for you guys every single day on this channel on business, marketing, and entrepreneurship. So let's get started. All right, so it goes without saying that people love free and in e-commerce, it's no different. So what you can do is have a bar and an offer at the top of your website, which says, hey, if you spend $49, you will get free shipping. People hate to pay shipping charges. So anything to help them to avoid shipping, they'll actually definitely gravitate towards and do just to avoid that shipping charge, even if it's something small like $5. So what this will also do is help your uh, average order value increase because say so, you know your average order value is $30 for that one product that you're selling. If you have a pay $49 and get free shipping, somebody's more willing to add a second item to their cart to increase that order value just to get above the threshold to avoid paying the shipping charges. So remember as well to test your offer. Like I said, if uh, I don't know what your you know average uh, cost of product is if you're selling a low ticket you know product uh, average uh, you know value of ten dollars or you're selling things in the hundreds of dollars. Whatever it is, test different uh, values. Say twenty nine, forty nine, eighty nine to see you know which one works better. Again, with any, everything in digital, you always want to test to see what converts better and uh, gives you the best results. All right. So tip number two is to add retargeting pixels to your website. As you know, with e-commerce, it's notorious for people coming and then leaving right away. And unfortunately, if you're paying for ads, you're never going to see them again. So adding Facebook retargeting and Google retargeting pixels, especially, you're able to obviously, you know, uh, get in front of them again. If you know specifically which page they landed on, you can obviously put that offer in front of them again. So if they came and they, you know, saw some sneakers or something like that, then you can obviously even have a picture of that sneakers uh, on Facebook or Google to show them that, hey, you know what? You came here, you know, we, we still have the offer, the product's still here for you. Why don't you come back and purchase? Because like I said, otherwise you're gonna be spending a fortune on ads to drive traffic to your website and you're gonna be missing out on 95% of the traffic, which is just going to come and bounce. You you obviously wanna get some ROI on that. So using retargeting, which is very you know cost effective, you're at least able to give yourself a second chance to get in front of them to be able to convert. All right, tip number three is to add abandoned cart email sequences to your funnel. So for example, what happens is a lot of people will add things to cart, but whatever the case may be, they're gonna abandon it and leave. So if you don't have an email sequence to obviously capture that email address and send them an, uh, you know, an email with a link, direct link back to their cart, you know, they're obviously gonna leave and you're never gonna get a chance to convert on that uh, customer. So if you're using a platform, for example, like Shopify, it's great because the email field is actually one of the first fields that people are going to see and enter. So obviously you're gonna be able to capture that as soon as they fill out that field, boom, it's in there. And you're gonna be able to capture it and have an automated sequence to be able to send out those emails. And one thing I recommend, of course, is to send out an email very quickly within you know the hour that they've uh, you know abandoned your cart to obviously remind them to come back and then within 24 hours for example you can send them a second email and one thing i can recommend there is to have a discount code say 15 percent off if you come back and purchase with the link which is right there in the email and then when they press the cart link the cart you know reopens back up everything is in there just as if they you know had left it and they can apply that discount code and uh, you know it incentivizes them to complete their purchase. All right, so tip number four is to add pop-ups with discount offers uh, to first-time visitors. So what you can do is if uh, you, you, know, you have people coming to your website, what you can do, uh, especially if you're new, of course, and you have a new site, most of your traffic will be new, of course, if you're sending uh, traffic to it, you can actually have a pop-up come up and say, you know what, for first-time buyers on your first-time purchase, here's a 25% coupon code. What that'll do is obviously, again, incentivize people 
to to buy from you to try you out because obviously somebody is coming to you for the first time they don't know you they don't know your brand they don't know your store so having that little extra incentive there will give them that extra nudge to complete a first purchase by giving you not only their email address which you can then target them on email uh you know email marketing but they can obviously get a discount on their first purchase all right and finally tip number five i can give you is a really powerful one and it is to build up your email list but to do it through offering lead magnets like ebooks for example so just think about it people come to your website most of your traffic is going to be new for example if you're just starting out obviously so you know they have no relation to your brand before they know nothing about you nothing about your e-commerce store you want to nurture them okay so that way they're more familiar with you and in the future obviously you want to get them down the road not everybody that's going to come to your site right away is going to buy so a powerful thing to do is to use content marketing and for example offer a lead magnet to be able to collect that email address of the customer that way you can nurture them you can start sending them offers and products and things like that that way you can get them you know off your website not just when you're when they're on your website you can target them through email marketing to bring them back okay when they're ready when they see you more when they're more comfortable that way you obviously you know have a chance to capture a sale from them so i can't tell you how important it is to build a list through uh, for an e-commerce website because that's literally just free money right after that when you can target people and send them offers through email marketing it's just an incredible thing because you're no longer paying for that customer to you know target them you're not paying for those facebook ads or those google ads for example you already have them it's just free money you're just you know sending an email and getting sales from that so i hope you got a ton of value out of today's video if you did give it a big thumbs up and a like down below and make sure once again to subscribe to this channel and the success nation as i'm dropping pure value content for you guys every single day on business marketing and entrepreneurship so hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell beside that to be notified as soon as i drop videos and if you guys have any questions for me please leave them in the comment section down below once again my name is maher abyad thanks so much for allowing me to be a part of your journey and i will catch you in the next video